Hi everybody and welcome back to the Inner Peace Workshop. This is episode two, Mindfulness Practice One, a focus on the breath. I'm your host, Todd Scholl, and on this week's episode, we're gonna actually be engaging in mindfulness practice where we just focus on our breath for 10 minutes. Sounds simple, but it can be very, very challenging. So I hope that you'll stick with it. So without further ado, here we go with episode two of the Inner Peace Workshop. So before we get into today's mindfulness practice, I would like us to take a look at some of the impacts that mindfulness can have on the brain after just eight weeks of practicing. Now in this study done by Sarah Lazar at Harvard Medical School, the participants engaged in mindfulness training for 30 to 40 minutes per day. We're going to start off with just 10 minutes per day, but you're welcome to expand that to longer periods of time if you choose to do so. What they noticed was that, and this was done, uh, they showed this with MRI scans, they, they showed that there was a thickening of the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for working memory and executive decision making. There was also an increase in gray matter of the left hippocampus, which assists in learning and memory and emotional regulation. And we see less gray matter with patients who have depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. There was also an increase in gray matter of the temporal parietal junction, which is responsible for perspective taking and empathy and compassion, and a decrease in gray matter of the amygdala. And the amygdala is what kicks off fight or flight or that fear response. And of course, when that gets kicked off, there's a whole bunch of hormones that are released into the bloodstream that cause your muscles to tense up, that increase your blood pressure and your, your heart rate, and, and you can feel and, uh, the jitteriness of that adrenaline rushing through your system. And so when we get really stressed and that amygdala is uh, set off as sort of our alarm system, it, you know, it sets off a whole bunch of physical symptoms where we feel that stress. And that is not something that we want to continue to put our, our bodies through on a chronic basis. So it's very important that we get our stress under control. And so one of the ways we can reduce stress is through a mindfulness practice. And the first mindfulness practice we're going to be looking at is a focus on the breath. So what I want you to do is find a place that's quiet where you won't be inter interrupted. And that can be a challenge sometimes. I have three young children, and so many times when I'm doing my mindfulness practice, <laughs> I'm interrupted. And that's okay. You just have to accept that that's part of, of uh, your practice sometimes. But once you find your place, just sit comfortably and sit straight up. Keep your back straight. And we want to do this so that we can remain alert during the practice. It is easy sometimes to get drowsy during this practice and by keeping your back straight it helps prevent that and then just begin breathing in and breathing out naturally there's no need to force the breath like deeply or to count numbers and, and make sure that you're breathing in long enough or out long enough just breathe normally and focus on your breath now we want to focus on the breath because the breath is always in the present moment and so if you're focused on the breath that means your brain's not going to be engaged in thought about the past or the future. It's going to be focused on the current moment, which is your breathing. But thoughts from earlier or later in the day will probably enter your mind. And as they do, just recognize them. Just say to yourself, hey, thought, that's a thought. And then I need to go back to my breath. So just redirect your attention back to your breath. And then you continue that process of you know trying to stay focused on your breath and then inevitably you'll probably have another thought that pops up and you'll start going down that little rabbit hole of thought and then you recognize that you're aware of it you're like oh I'm having a thought again let me go back to my breath focus on it going in focus on it going out and don't chastise yourself remember uh, mindfulness is non-judgmental awareness of the present moment so if you're telling yourself, hey, I'm really bad at this, man, I really stink at this, then that's not mindfulness because you have to leave out that judgmental part of your brain. Just try to stay focused on your breath, and, that, and if you can't and you have to keep going back and keep going back, that's okay, that's normal, and that's to be expected. So just notice what's happening and continue to go back to your breath without judgment. 
So here we go. Just begin breathing in and breathing out. Now you don't have to, to control your breath, just breathe naturally. Notice how the breath feels as it flows in and it flows out. Typically it's going to feel cooler on the way in and warmer on the way out. Notice how your abdomen rises and falls as you breathe. If you're breathing in through your nostrils, notice how the breath comes in through the nostrils and the feeling at the, the tip of your nose. And then notice how the breath feels as it goes down your trachea and into your lungs and fills your lungs. And then notice how it comes back out and how it feels coming back out of the nose or the mouth. And just stay focused on your breath and thoughts they'll come up they'll pop up I like to think of them as little bubbles that come up in a in a soda you shake up that soda and then you open it and those bubbles come pop bubbling up and then they pop and they go away and then just uh, just go back and focus on the breath And now all you have to do is, is breathe. Just breathe in and breathe out. Let go of your to-do list. It'll still be there. And you'll get some of it done and some of it you may not get done. And that's okay. But right now, give yourself permission to do this. Give yourself permission to take care of yourself, to take care of your mind, to, to take care and of your uh, your stress levels, to, to become more resilient to the stresses of your life. And as thoughts may arise that Hey, I've I've got too much to do, to do. I just I can't give this much time to this. Let those go. And give yourself the permission to do this. Now I'm going to be quiet for several minutes. I know some of you are thinking, thank God. But I'll be quiet for a few minutes and just let you continue this process.
in about 30 seconds we're going to bring this session to an end and when you come out of the session don't just get up and go right back into your hectic schedule take some time to stretch a little bit and just come out of this mindfulness practice slowly and so take a few more mindful breaths and then open your eyes if they were closed and feel free to get up and move around and it's been just about 10 minutes that we've spent practicing mindfulness. Well, thank you for watching episode two of the Inner Peace Workshop. I hope after that 10 minutes of focusing on the breath that you feel at least a little bit calmer. But don't forget, mindfulness practice is a lot like working out a muscle. You don't go into the gym one time and come out with huge biceps or, or, or huge muscles or being completely in shape. It takes a little time to, to develop. And so I hope that you'll consider making this a regular practice so that you can start to see some of the, the benefits of practicing mindfulness over a longer period of time. There is a companion uh, website for uh, this workshop at theinnerpeace.weebly.com, so I invite you to, to visit that for additional resources. There is also a handout in PDF format on uh, this particular website with discussion questions, a journal entry, and your homework for, for the week, which is to practice the, the uh, mindfulness technique that we use today, to practice that for at least 10 minutes every single day. So just make a commitment to practicing for 10 minutes each day, just focusing on the breath. I hope that you will do that so that you really can get the most out of this workshop. And as always, you can connect with me on Facebook at Todd Andrew Scholl or on Twitter at Todd Scholl. And you can email me any comments or questions you have, toddscholl at gmail.com. Well, next week we'll be exploring mindfulness and classroom management. So I hope you'll join me for that episode. And until then, have a mindful week.